Hello all. In this video, let us see how to interface 16 by 2 LCD with LPC2148. On the full development board, the LCD connections are already made on the PCB. You just need to plug in the LCD onto the board. With the small development board, we can make use of this uh, handy small LCD interface board. Uh, with this board, wire doing LCD wiring is easy. Three wires are required for uh, uh, control pins that is register select goes to P0.10 read write goes to P0.12 and enable pin goes to P0.13 and we need eight more wires for uh, data bits D0 to D7 D0 is LSB and D7 is MSB D0 goes to P0.16 and D7 goes to P0.23 0.16 to 0.23 is used for data bits now let us open the Kale software Click on project and uh, new project. Create a folder and then provide a file name. Select the IC as LPC2148. Click on uh, OK. Now the project is created. Right click on source group and add a new C file and provide a name for the C file. Now right click on target and select uh, options for target. This setting is uh, very important under target uh, tab you select use microlib and under output tab create hex file and under link linker tab use memory layout these three settings are very important and click on ok now let us see the c code the c code starts with the uh, include statement lpc 214 x.h and then we define the uh, rs RW on the enable pins using left shift operator that is one uh, binary one left shifted left 10 times binary one left shifted 12 times and binary one left shifted 13 times these three are the control pins P0.10 P0.12 and P0.13 next is the function declarations these are the functions we are using in this code LCD underscore command CMD LCD underscore data and then delay function and the GPU init function we have to write the code for these functions these are the five uh, LCD commands that is stored in character array this LCD commands uh, that is 38 uh, defines two lines 5 by 7 matrix uh, 0 e display on cursor blinking 0 6 is increment cursor to right 01 is clear display and 80 is force cursor to beginning of the first line these five commands we store in a character array and call one by one next is the display to be a message to be displayed that is stored in character arrays first line display and second line display and then starts the main function and the indefinite loop Inside the main function, first we call the GPU init function. Let us see the code for GPU init function. Here we define the pencil register 0 as and the pencil register 1 as all zeros, which makes the port pin uh, port 0 pins as GPU. And then we assign this hex value 00 ff 3400 to IO direct 0. This defines the control and data pins that we are uh, using for LCD connection. Initially, we clear this bit using this uh, IOCLR0. The pencil register 0 uh, defines P0.0 to 0.15 and pencil register 1 defines P0.16 to 0.31. Each uh, pin is assigned 2 bits and when these 2 bits are uh, 0, 0, it, uh, it defines uh, as GPU and if it is uh, 0, 1 second function, 1, 0 for third function and 1, 1 for fourth function. So by assigning all as 0, 0, we make port pins as uh, GPU. Even if you do not define this, by default it is GPU pins. But it is a good practice to define it. This is the 32 bits of uh, port 0. We make use of port pins uh, uh, 10, 12 and 13 for control and uh, 16 to 23 for data. We have to write once to make these pins as output. So the hex value becomes 00, FF, 3, 
4 and then 0 0 this is how we uh, we arrive at this hex value and we assign this hex value to io direct 0 so by assigning this hex value we define the control port pins and uh, data pins as output back to the main function we use the for loop to send uh, the command stored in uh, array one by one using the lcd underscore cmd function the lcd underscore cmd function receives this command as uh, a parameter and uh, uh, assign it to a val variable this command is then uh, uh, left shifted 16 times and assigned to io pin 0 register as we are using the uh, uh, data pins as p0.16 to p0.23 by left shifting a to 16 times the data is data or command is exactly positioned at 16th pin then we make the rs as 0 so that command register is uh, selected and then rw as 0 uh, to write it to lcd and then enable pulse that is we make the enable high and then low so that the command is uh, latched to the lcd and then in the main function uh, in the same way we send the data using lcd underscore data function first we send the first message and we use this 0 xc0 command to uh, shift to second line and we send the second data the lcd underscore data uh, function is same as lcd underscore uh, command in this we receive the uh, message and assign it to val and left shift it to 16 times here we make rss1 so that uh, uh, data register is selected and then uh, rw is made 0 and then enable pulse is given so that the data is latched and displayed on the lcd now store this uh, c code and then use f7 button to build the target now the project is built and the hex file is created you can see the hex file inside your uh, project folder now let us open the flash magic uh, software to upload this hex file onto the LPC 2148. Open the flash magic software and then uh, select the IC as uh, LPC 2148. Select the COM port that is uh, COM port is allotted to the USB uh, uh, connected to PC that you can see from the device manager. and then select uh, the baud rate and uh, mode as isp and then crystal is 12 megahertz and then browse to the location of the hex file and select the hex file click on start now the hex file is uploaded onto the uh, board you have to press the restart button uh, to see the result there is also another uh, utility philips uh, lpc 2000 utility uh, this is also a simple utility to upload the hex file onto the LPC board. Here you have to select the DTR RTS function so that the USB bootloader is enabled and then uh, uh, select the COM port and browse to the location of the hex file and then click on upload. The hex file is uploaded and you can see the result by uh, pressing the restart button. Thank you for watching.